This is Epson ET2710 printer and I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of this printer. We will start with the initial setup, we will install the ink, load the paper, we will do the Wi-Fi setup and then connect with any device for wireless printing and scanning. So let's start with the setup. Now go to the main screen and press the power button. Select language English on the printer screen. Press OK on the next screen. Press OK to proceed. Press OK to start the ink installation. Now open the ink chamber. And these are the ink tanks. We need to fill the ink here. So we can open it. Open the bottle. And simply place the bottle once the ink is filled in, just shake it a little bit and take it out. Place the ink cartridge like this. Press it down. Shake the bottle and take it out. Now close this seal. Go to the printer screen and press and hold the question button for 5 seconds. Click on the start button. Once it is complete, click done, OK. You can adjust the print head now or if you want you can do it later. And once you do that, you will see the main screen and our printer is ready for copy. For the Wi-Fi setup, scroll ahead, select Wi-Fi setup and click OK. Select Wi-Fi recommended, click OK to proceed, Wi-Fi setup wizard, select your Wi-Fi network and click OK. Now enter the password using the characters, so I'll change it to the numbers, setup is complete, so click yes. So I'll register my printer later on so if you want you can do now or just click yes and go ahead. You will see the main screen and there is a Wi-Fi signal on the top. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Next thing is to add this printer in any device for wireless printing and scanning. I'm going to show you how to do that with the Android phone. Now go to your Android phone and download the Epson iPrint app. So you can download it from the App Store. On the next screen, select the top section. Again, click on the home button. It will display your printer series, Epson ET2710, select it. And it will start the installation in your Android phone. Now wait for the printer to show up and then we can use it for wireless printing and scanning from here. If you want to do print or scan, I can show you the print. Select any document you want and click on the print button. So this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and then we can add in Android phone for wireless printing and scanning. You can also install this printer in a laptop, computer or iPhone and then you can use it for wireless printing and scanning. Thanks for watching.